Ladies and gentlemen, Apple have finally decided to make their entrance into the generative AI space. Apple recently announced something called Apple GPT. Now, Apple GPT is an artificial intelligence language model rumored to be in development by Apple. It is expected to be similar to OpenAI's GPT-3 and aims to enhance Siri's virtual assistant capabilities and other AI-powered features in Apple's products. The informal name Apple GPT suggests that it could use a generative pre-trained transformer model the same kind of model that ChatGPT uses. Now, Apple GPT started as an experiment by a small team of Apple engineers in 2022 and is currently limited to internal use, assisting with prototyping future features. So it's clear that Apple has realized that the markets are moving very, very quickly and they do have an entirely new platform to deploy their generative AI features. From the new Apple Vision Pro to their new iPhones, Apple has a variety of applications that they could use to deploy their new Apple GPT. And as we stated, Siri seems to be getting a major, major upgrade. There are some predicted features that we do want to talk about. The most anticipated features of Apple GPT include better natural language understanding, which essentially means that when we do talk to Siri and when Siri talks back to us, the conversations are going to be a lot better than the monotone ones that we do currently engage in. This is something that Apple hasn't really improved on since the major release of Siri. Number two is we're also going to get some improved text generation. As you know, sometimes when you're typing on your keyboard, you do get a bunch of suggested words. And if the generative in generative pre-trained transformer can actually allow us to get improved text generation, writing messages in iMessage is going to get a whole lot easier. And I'm pretty sure that this Apple GPT is probably going to assist you in many other Apple applications as well, such as Notes, iMessage, WhatsApp, and of course, any word writing software. Number three is of course the enhanced conversational abilities. And this could mean that potentially we might be able to customize our own versions of Siri, which could be unique to us. That would be really, really interesting and a unique spin on what we already have with the generative pre-trained transformers. Now, these features are expected to improve Siri's contextual understanding, provide more accurate responses, and enable more realistic conversations with users. Now, in comparison to other AI tools, Apple GPT is quite similar to other AI tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard in terms of performance and functionality according to some sources. However, it's not publicly available yet and it's only accessible through a web interface for a select group of Apple employees. And according to many different resources such as Bloomberg, Apple is expected to make a major announcement about its AI efforts in 2024. So Apple GPT is a language model rumored to be in development by Apple. And it seems that like in 2024, we're going to get a major overhaul. Now we aren't sure at when in 2024, this groundbreaking announcement is supposed to be, but like many different Apple conventions, it's probably going to be one of Apple's live stream events that they host throughout the year when they're unveiling latest products or just doing a standard keynote. So we do know that this does happen in March slash April in spring and at many different times around the year. And we do expect that when they do announce this product, it is going to be a really polished version because as you know, Apple has a complete AI division that they've been working on for quite some time. Now you might be thinking, why haven't Apple released anything just yet? If you are familiar with the wars between Samsung and Apple, a familiar phrase uttered by those of Samsung slash Android users is that Samsung slash Android had it first. And we all know that many times features and quirks and gimmicks are implemented into Samsung, maybe even in a better format. But when Apple releases their product, their loyal and unique customer fan base decides to loyally defend whatever Apple releases, which essentially means that Apple can take quite a while to deliver a similar product to the market and it will still be received as great or superior. This isn't to say that Apple delivers inferior products. It's simply to say that Apple doesn't need to rush out any products that are coming new to the market because their entire goal is to ensure that whatever they release is up to a certain standard and always specifically polished. And this is all because of Apple's unique brand identity. Now, there were some AI announcements that were made at the Worldwide Developers Conference in 2023, and we're going to talk about those now. 
So about an hour ago, Apple just did their keynote speech in which they announced a bunch of stuff for Apple. But as you know, this is an AI focused channel, so we only pay attention to the AI related announcements. And Apple did have some sneaky AI announcements, which we're going to cover in this video. And there are many AI announcements that Apple did announce earlier this year, which so many people didn't even pay attention to. So without further ado, it's the AI grid and let's jump into this one. Oh, one of the first things that you missed is that they actually talked about intelligent input. So essentially what this was referring to was the keyboard and that keyboard is autocorrect. So everybody knows how autocorrect works. You type in one word and then eventually at the end of your sentence, it tries to predict the next word. Now, essentially what Apple have done is they've upgraded autocorrect to the point where it actually uses machine learning. So before Apple used to use an archaic old version of machine learning to predict text. But now, as you know, as Google pioneered the way in actually creating the transformer architecture for people to now use the thing that actually makes ChatGPT so effective, which OpenAI actually built their chatbot around. This is what Apple are now essentially using for their autocorrect word prediction. So although this firstly wasn't a major announcement, it just goes to show that of course, Apple as a big company as they are, are seriously paying attention to what is going on in the space. I mean, how could you not pay attention to the rapid rise of AI? There was also another small AI announcement in which many people also did miss, which was introducing Apple's new journal feature. So essentially what journal was is it's pretty much a feature that allows you to write down your journals, but it is going to be powered by an on-device AI. The word that they actually used was on-device machine learning. So essentially your iPhone can create personalized suggestions of moments to inspire your writing. Now, they also stated that suggestions will be intelligently curated from information on your iPhone, like your photos, location, music, workouts, and more. And then of course, you can essentially control what suggestions that they pull from your phone. So essentially what we have here is an AI tool that is gonna allow you to write more effectively by pulling from every single piece of data that it has on your phone, such as your photos and many other different sources. Now, one thing that I did find very very interesting about this talk from Apple was that they did refuse to mention the term artificial intelligence or AI. Now, when you look at the transcript right here, you can see that AI isn't mentioned, but machine learning is actually mentioned in seven different times. Then of course, we have this tweet from a user named Ethan Mollick, and essentially it's a very, very valid point. So in this tweet, he basically says that Apple didn't address the dead end that is Siri in the age of AI. So if you don't know what Siri is, for those of you who don't use Apple, essentially it's a voice assistant that you can prompt by saying, hey Siri, and then your phone will simply go up and wake up with a woman who essentially asks you, what would you like to do? Now it can be a man, it can be a woman. Essentially it's quite like Amazon's Alexa, but for iPhone. Now the problem is, is that when you ask Siri, for a restaurant prompt, which is exactly what this guy did. This is Siri's response versus what Microsoft's Bing can do with the same exact prompt. Now we do know, of course, Microsoft's Bing isn't voice activated, but it just goes to show that in the age of AI, why is Apple declining to spread any news or any advancements?